Hello students, uh, we are discussing about the midpoint uh, line drawing algorithm. In the part 1, uh, we have seen up to uh, how the function f of x y is going to be 0 and it is going to be a positive value and it is going to be a negative value. So, you can just recall the things that is it is always 0 on the line, it is always positive below the line and it is always negative above the line. The function of the line happens to be like this. Now, we will have to compute the midpoint value for the particular function. So, what is the midpoint? So, midpoint is we have already denoted that uh, uh, capital M is going to be our midpoint. So, uh, on the midpoint, so that is f of m, f of m is equal to what? So, f of m uh, will be like uh, when I, when, when my previous pixel is this one and I am coming to this m. So, then how much have I travelled in x value and how much have I travelled in the y value is what we have to put here. So, uh, when I when I am coming from this to this of course, I have changed my x to 1 pixel that is if my x is 1 here, my x is going to be 2 here because I am moving further that is uh, plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 will happen whenever I move like this uh, horizontally and whenever I move uh, vertically my y is going to be uh, plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, that means incrementing and uh, incrementing of both x and y happen whenever they travel horizontally and uh, vertically uh, respectively. So, when we consider this uh, capital M, so capital M means it is the midpoint. So, if this is the midpoint, so I am travelling from this pixel to this pixel, of course, my uh, change in x will be x p plus 1. So, in this pixel, uh, that is in the previous pixel, I will call my x coordinate and y coordinate values as x p comma y p and then uh, next when I come to this pixel. So, then the next pixel at m will be x p plus 1 y p just see what happens here. So, y p is not going to be full plus 1 or it is not going to stay here in this because it is the midpoint. So, then half of the value is what is incremented in y that is y is not going to be plus 1 fully completely and it is not going to stay here itself. So, therefore, at the m x has incremented by plus 1, but y has incremented by only half only half of it is incremented because we are at the midpoint. Now, uh, this is in the form of f of x comma y and we know that uh, what is the function that is f of x comma y will be it is a x plus b y plus c. So, put this equation, so put this values in that equation form and come to a value. So, that value we will call it as a decision variable d. So, as I have already told that uh, decisions are made every now and then whenever I am going to the next pixels. So, uh, if this is my pixel and then going to the next pixel I will have to make the decision whether to select this e or n e. When I go to the next pixel again I will have to select. So, which is the pixel I, I have to choose. So, therefore, uh, the decision variable will help us to decide which pixel are we going to select. So, therefore, uh, this is uh, f of m at which I am calculating this function value. So, that variable or that value which I get that I will call it as a decision variable and it is denoted as d small d. So, uh, d is equal to f of x p plus 1 y p plus how. So, this is the uh, decision variable and uh, how do you uh, uh, put this value in the equation is a x this x plus 1 full will uh, will be treated as a variable x. So, therefore, a x plus b y plus c. So, uh, this variable that is the d uh, that is equal to a into x p plus 1 plus b into y p plus half plus c is going to be our decision variable. And uh, what is the value of this decision variable? Accordingly, I will have to say that I am going to select the pixel E or I am going to select the pixel N E. So, how do I select is by this uh, conditions 
that is if your d happens to be greater than 0 that is the variable value that is the decision variable value d happens to be greater than 0. So, then I will be selecting n e as we have already seen how will be the function value. So, on the line above and below how the values value of the function is going to be that we have seen accordingly if my decision variable is greater than 0 of course if it is greater than 0 I will have to select the pixel n e if it is greater than 0 we will select n e and if it is uh, less than 0 we will select e and if the d is equal to 0. So, that means if my d value is equal to 0. So, there is no uh, confusion whether to select this one or this either of the either of uh, the two will work because it is exactly the line is going exactly on the midpoint. Therefore, there is no question of uh, having the dilemma whether to select any or e any one of the pixel I can select because the decision variable d value is 0. So, therefore, this is the very key point in this algorithm that is when the decision variable value is calculated and I get a value and that value happens to be 0 less than 0 or greater than 0 accordingly I select E or N E. So, now we will have to say that how do I select that is how do I select the pixel E. So, that is what happens if I select the pixel E because the decision variable keeps on changing. So, every time I select a pixel and then again I calculate the decision variable and I see again whether it is 0, greater than, less than. So, then again I move on with the next selection of the pixel. So, this is a repetition or the iteration that happens again and again in the algorithm. So, uh, next is we will have to uh, see if I what happens if I select E and what happens if I select N E. So, the first condition is what we will take now. If I select if I select E pixel. So, if E pixel is chosen what is the uh, uh, decision variable value uh, is what we have to calculate and these things uh, we will uh, discuss in the next part remember uh, while going to the next part why do we calculate the D value and uh, how is it going to affect uh, the selection of the E and N E. In the next part we will see if we choose E what is our next steps. Thank you.